Hello and welcome back to Global Value. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at Selenese Corporation, ticker symbol CE. So Selenese Corporation is a recent addition to the Berkshire Hathaway public stock portfolio. It currently only makes up a very small percentage of the overall portfolio, clocking in at 0.3%. However, it is over a billion dollar position in the portfolio. Given the size of the position, it's likely that this was either initiated by Ted or Todd, not Warren Buffett himself. Warren Buffett has commented in the past that any position over $1 billion or more has to be personally approved by him. So this was likely a Ted or a Todd buy. However, it's reasonable that Warren Buffett would have had to okay this himself. And since Berkshire's 13F disclosure was filed, Selenese Corporation stock has been down, potentially making it even a better purchase than what Berkshire Hathaway was buying it at. So at the time of recording this video, Selenese Corporation is trading for $122.50 per share. Year to date, their stock is down about 27%. Just this month, their price has gone from $161 all the way down to this $122 mark. Going back the past year, they're down 20%. They've dipped significantly since the war in Ukraine has started. However, over three years, even despite the blip during the pandemic, Selenese Corporation has returned about 8% compounded annually. And going back 10 years, they've returned 15% compounded annually. Keep in mind that these returns are not including dividends. Selenese is just over its 52-week low, down significantly from that 52-week high. The business has about a $13.3 billion market cap. So what does the company actually do? Selenese is one of the world's largest producers of acetic acid and its downstream derivative chemicals, which are used in various end markets, including coatings and adhesives. The company also produces specialty polymers used in the automotive, electronics, medical, and consumer end markets, as well as cellulose derivatives used in cigarette filters. Recently, the company has made a couple of acquisitions, buying business units from both Dow Chemical and ExxonMobil. Selenese Corporation was founded in 1918 and is headquartered in Irvine, Texas. We'll be performing a modified eight-pillar analysis as popularized by Everything Money, taking a look at eight key different financial metrics to come to an overall beginning and holistic understanding of Selenese Corporation as a business based on their financial data. So let's get right into our analysis. Starting off with pillar number one, we want Selenese average five-year PE over the past five years to be below 22 and a half. Currently their PE is about six and a half. Over these past five years, Selenese has traded at an average PE of about 13 and a half. So pillar number one is a check to start off. Pillar number two, we want their average five-year return on capital to be above 9%. Over the long run, over the course of decades, the returns that you're likely to make on a stock are gonna be approximating the returns that its underlying business can earn on capital. Selenese does a good job here. Over this period, they've averaged 15% returns on capital. Last year, they had above average returns, clocking in at 22%. And even during the pandemic, they earned acceptable returns on capital. So that's a good sign, both offensively and defensively. And that's another check on pillar number two. Pillar number three, we're looking for five-year revenue growth. This one's going to be a check. They've grown revenues from $6.1 billion in 2017 to $8.5 billion in 2021. So far, we have three checks to start off. Pillar number four, we're looking for five-year net income growth. They've more than doubled their net income from $843 million in 2017 to about $1.9 billion in 2021. So far, we've got four pillars and four checks. Next up, we're looking for decreasing shares outstanding. So when you purchase a share of stock in a business, what you're really buying is a fractional ownership in the underlying business. So as a shareholder, we don't want a business to be issuing new shares and diluting existing shareholders, as it ultimately means that we're entitled to a smaller ownership percentage of the business relative to what we bought into the company for. A smaller ownership percentage is going to mean that we're entitled to less of the company's future profits. However, this is not the case here. Selenese has been actively buying back shares. They've reduced their shares outstanding from $138 million in 2017 to $112 million in 2021. So this is just what we want to see. They bought back 26 million shares during this time period, and that's another check on pillar number five. We're five for five, guys. Next up, pillar number six, we're looking for five-year free cash flow growth. Free cash flow is cash from operations minus capital expenditures. 
It's the lifeblood of any business and can be used to pay dividends, buy back shares like we've seen Salonese has been doing, reinvest back into the business, pay down debt, or make acquisitions, which Salonese also does. Salonese has more than doubled their free cash flow from $536 million in 2017 to nearly $1.3 billion of free cash flow in 2021. So that's a check here. Averaged out over these last five years, Selenese produces about $1 billion of free cash flow in an average year. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Selenese has been acquisitive in recent years. Last year, they spent $1.1 billion, so the majority of their free cash flow on cash acquisitions. So in understanding the business's future prospects, it's vital to understand these acquisitions and really understanding are they value adding to shareholders or did Selenese overpay and destroy value. So that's something that we're not going to be able to cover here, but you can learn more about by diving into their 10K and reading through their annual reports and getting a better understanding of these acquisitions. Moving on to pillar number seven, we want their net debt, which is long and short-term liabilities minus cash and short-term cash equivalents to be below their average five-year free cash flow multiplied by five. So at the end of last year, Selenese Corporation had nearly $3.7 billion of net debt. When we multiply that average five-year free cash flow of $1 billion times five, that comes out to $5 billion. If they produce their last five years of free cash flow over the next five years and didn't add debt in that period, they would have $1.3 billion left over after paying off all of their debts. This is a good sign in that the business is not overly levered and that they're reasonably able to pay off all their debts using their cash flow. So far, we're seven for seven on the first seven pillars. Can we go eight for eight and have a perfect eight pillar business? Let's find out. So lastly, the big pillar of them all, pillar number eight, we want their market cap to be below their average five-year free cash flow multiplied by 20. So currently, Selenese Corporation has a $13.3 billion market cap, when we multiply their average five-year free cash flow of $1 billion times 20, that brings us to $20 billion. So there is a $6.7 billion margin of safety in that valuation. Now, 20 is just a starting point. Selenese Corporation is a chemical company, and as we've seen, they've traded at an average PE multiple of about 13 and a half over the last five years. So that's quite a bit down from 20. So again, just use that number as a starting point. This is a check on pillar number eight. They are a perfect eight pillar stock. So just because they went eight for eight on all of our pillars does not mean that you run out and buy this. This type of analysis is a starting point. It's not any sort of financial recommendation one way or the other. And before considering investing in any business, you have to do the work, really understand the business inside and out, and make sure that it is squarely in your circle of competence. The last thing we're going to look at is the health of Selenese dividend. Investors can make mistakes by blindly chasing dividend yield. Instead of doing that, it's better to look at a business and understand if their dividends are supported by their earnings and their cash flows. Selenese pays out a dividend that has steadily been increasing, and by looking at its cash flow profile, its dividend is healthily supported by its cash flows, especially in each of the past four years. They really haven't paid out more than about a 30% dividend payout ratio. So this is a very healthy dividend. And depending on what Selenese Corporation management decides to use their cash flows on into the future, it looks like this one could continue growing for some time. So in summary, Selenese is an eight pillar stock. They check the box on eight out of eight pillars. Selenese is a recent addition to the Berkshire Hathaway public stock portfolio, likely an ad by either Ted Wexler or Todd Combs, the two investment managers at Berkshire Hathaway besides Warren Buffett. Because it's more than a $1 billion position in the Berkshire Hathaway public stock portfolio, they may have needed Warren Buffett's approval first before adding this as a position. In either case, Selenese looks like a very strong business that's attractively valued right now. It pays out a good dividend that is very much so supported by its free cash flows. Even with all these positives going for the business, this type of analysis is a starting point. It's not any sort of recommendation to invest in the company. Instead, if you're interested in learning more about the business like I am, I recommend that you read through the company's filings and really get to a point where you can learn about the business and its overall industry inside and out. You want to be one of the leading experts on a business before you decide to invest into it. So with that said, that's it for today's fundamental stock analysis of the Selenese Corporation. 
ticker symbol CE. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more stock analysis videos, and comment down below what business you want me to take a look at next. Thanks for learning about Selenies with me, and have a great day.